Praise the Lord. Blessings to my Everlasting Life Christian Church members, co-laborers in the gospel, kingdom citizen, and social media followers. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of God. For those of you who have been following my ministry throughout the years, know that there is an important scripture that I've used um, for um, leadership, organizational structure, and even in my personal life. And that scripture is found in 1 Corinthians 1440, which instructs us to let all things be done decently and in order. The Lord's church is the highest kingdom in the universe. However, throughout the years, we all in the church have seen a perverted shift from the established sanctity of the church by Jesus Christ to the natural, worldly, carnal, and fleshly ways. No longer do we see more of the believers being separate and set apart from the world. And what I mean by that is making the difference. We are in the world, but not of the world. Instead, we are seeing more and more that the church is mirroring the world and appealing to the flesh for convenience and popularity. For the past few months, I have been studying Apostle Paul's letters to the Church of Corinth, 1 Corinthians 2 Corinthians, which he repeatedly urges the church to be in divine order without saying the word divine order. But we see in 1 Corinthians in 14, 40, that let all things be done decently and in order, which is the will of God in truth in love, in holiness, in unity with all the gifts. As an apostle in the Lord's church and having an apostolic voice in the kingdom of God for the territory that was entrusted unto me, Holy Spirit has placed a burning desire and urgency and a charge to reset the church from the inside out. So I invite you to our Reset Conference, Restoring Order to the Church. I will kick off this conference in person, and live screen on this Sunday at 945 during our worship service. Then March the 4th at 7 p.m., which is a Friday, will be in person only with my spiritual mother, Bishop Barbara Fishburne Johnny. She will be our dynamic speaker for the evening. March 5th is a Saturday at 9 a.m. in person only. We will have a dual speaker workshop where she and I will teach two separate sessions. As I already know, there are other conferences, summits, and events happening throughout our area during the same weekend. Please know that I, we, respect and pray for God's blessings and supernatural move upon your services as well as we all 
obey Holy Spirit. However, the Lord has placed an urgency inside of me for the conference and for it to continue on this weekend, March the 4th and the 5th. And this is the earliest time that Bishop Johnny and I schedules met to carry on this conference. So I am requesting that my ELCC members, especially all of my leaders, um, the ministers, the ministerial staff, all the help ministry leaders, executive team, hallelujah, will adjust your schedules to be in attendance. Hallelujah. I also encourage the fivefold ministry gifts and leaders to come. Bring your team. You will not regret it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bring your leaders. Bring some of your members so that all of our churches and organizations in the kingdom of God will be reset, restored and maintained in this most critical hour. So for more information, visit our website at www.elcc.church slash reset. For seating purposes, free registration is requested but not required. I look forward to seeing you in the house of the Lord at Everlasting Life Christian Church, 100 Spartan Drive, Garden City, Georgia. Bring somebody with you, hallelujah, so we can bring back order to the church. Reset Conference, restoring order to the church. Have a blessed day.